This is something that, that we only make during the month of Ramadan. Crispy, chewy, kachuri patties. Rush Khan reluctantly raised the price this year on these Pakistani treats from $5.99 to $6.99. 40, 50 percent higher, right? Uh, last year and like since the pandemic it's like 100 percent higher. Khan's restaurant is one of dozens of halal spots Muslims visit for iftar or breaking their fasts. Affordable meals are an expectation, he says, especially during Ramadan, the month of giving. But inflation has everyone feeling the pinch. We talk to them and we're like, you know, like, have you been to the grocery store yourself? And they're like, yeah, yeah, prices are going up. We're like, well, it, it doesn't just affect you, right? Like, uh, the same price is being passed on to us. He's changed up his popular combos, fewer of them, and no more costly items like an entire chicken. But at this halal fried chicken and pizza shop, Iqbal Jakbar feels he has fewer options. We are selling less than McDonald's, and yet we are still having a hard time bringing people in. And what do people see when they see those prices? They still complain it's too much because people are suffering in their homes. He says every time he sells a two-piece chicken combo for $8.99, he takes a hit. Halal meat costs around 20% more, he says, but he's hoping it'll bring in new customers. I hope Trudeau looks into these things and uh, does something about the small businesses that are basically going belly up. We really need some help. Jabbar says a change is needed at the top of the supply chain, something this halal butcher and specialty wholesaler is also seeing. I give you an example, let's say transportation before, it used to take uh, 30 days to 35 days. Now it's taking three months. It's taking three months. So imagine how much of a capital has to be invested. He says it's even affecting how people practice charity during Ramadan, like donating dates and iftar essential to mosques. Yesterday, I have a customer who wants to buy about 20 cases. 20 cases, he ended up buying 10 cases and I had to donate one case to him because at the end of the day he's distributing it to to so many people. He too is hoping governments step in. Until then, Khan is asking his customers for patience. It's just like, you know, last two years everyone's kind of been very uh, supportful and, you know, just got to keep it going, right? Leanne Young, CBC News, Surrey.